Today on EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And on the way, action from the Premier Division coming right up. It's Shelburne facing Derry City. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. O'Neill. chance he's foiled them on his own well as we look at the table it's clear to see why there's been so much frustration amongst the home fans to say they've been sliding down a slippery slope but... big chance and there it is the opening goal the ideal way to start Well, we can take another look at this. There's nothing much the keeper can do. Close range finish, really good play, and he doesn't miss from there. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Simple save, really. Duffy and it might be that is a tackle and a half and close but offside nonetheless and he really is danger personified but in this game Lee what do you think we might see from him well his form is sensational Derek he can't stop scoring he's having so much fun out there consistent form relentless hunger a desire that goes beyond the norm he's got must score and it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. It's going their way, 2-0. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bohemia. 27 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Looks promising this. And a fine stop. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. This looks promising. Real chance. A smart stop here. So now a corner. Played into the centre of the box. Insufficient accuracy with the header, Lee. Yeah, he got there as well. It was all about could he get it on target, but when you see how far he missed, wow. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for Sligo Rovers. 34 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. O'Neill. Giving the ball away. Well, that is how to play advantage. And a strong tackle. Dangerous looking attack. Can't miss, surely. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And it's gone behind for the corner. And firing it into the area. Punching it clear. And a good-looking ball. 
That is that for the first half here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. There to take it away. Cuts it back. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And it's a sweet strike. Absolutely lovely, controlled, stylish finish. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Dundalk. 52 minutes, please. 2-1. Opportunity. Another goal. The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. To confirm for you, the home side were able to score, but still on the wrong end of the scoreline, trailing 2-1. A real opening now. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Excellent block. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the... corner played into the center of the box attending to his defensive chores a very timely interception Cole And a throw-in forthcoming. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Malone. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And take it away. Sports car, that's a red sports car parked outside main reception. Please return. And he's broken free. Oh, there it is. It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the visitors. 76 minutes, please. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, it could be on for him here. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, it's an out-and-out -out pasting. 6-0. Tremendous challenge. Only ten minutes remaining here. 
Can he put it in? There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And then a 2v1, both of them teasing the goalkeeper. That really is a lovely worked goal. And threading it forward. And he was in the right place to intercept. Take it away. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Can they hit on the break? Opportunity! Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans...